happens to what happens to me? What happens to me that wants to use the clothes tomorrow? What if you have a number? Delete it. I feel very defeated. Them. The skin is skinny. The skin is skinny. <laughs> they don't know. Hey, my loves. Good afternoon. And how are you guys doing? Welcome to my birthday prep vlog. I want to say I know I look crusty. But you guys have been seeing me look crossy on this channel for a while now, so it's nothing new. But before the end of this vlog, I'm going to be transformed, I'm pretty sure. So guys, um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how my birthday plans and preparations is going. So first off... I didn't have any plan, like I didn't want to do anything and I just wanted to chill and just be at home because this year has really stressed me but at a point, you guys, first of like I started having like series of pimples try to come out of my face last week and I popped this one, I'm sorry but we're getting my face back in order we're just gonna let this sit and dry a bit so like i was saying i didn't like have plans for anything for my birthday but i decided last minute i think in october that i want to travel out of the country for my birthday and i was searching hotels and all of that and then things got mixed up and i'm like okay no need i'm not traveling again and then last minute again i started searching for a nice resort stroke whatever in nigeria and the one i like is actually outside lagos but they were fully booked no rooms i think i searched till like ending of october yeah ending of october they were fully booked i'm like okay no problem i left it so last week just last week is it last week today is what today yeah last week Last week, I decided that, okay, I don't want to stay in my house my birthday. Yes, my lips are so dry. I decided last week that I don't want to stay in my house for my birthday. I want to, like, be outside, sleep somewhere. And I decided to book um, Landmark Resort. You know, they have, like, a beach resort. You guys, this place is highly and fully booked no space for me on my birthday i even decided that okay i, I want to just come in on the 11th and leave on the 12th no rooms i was searching till like i i think at a point i i thought they had rooms so i went to the website and when i fully understood the website i realized that they didn't have rooms i was so disappointed like very very disappointed i was down for the whole day so I now started searching again because I don't want to sleep at home. I now started searching for other nice hotels. But at the point, I'm like, I want to be around the beach. I want to like have some fun by the beach and all of that. So why not just book the sea view at the hotel? Landmark Hotel. You know, they have like a hotel. So finally, I booked Landmark Hotels, not the beach resort. But I got the sea view room. And the girl kept insisting, it's on the 7th floor, it's on the 7th floor. At the point, I was like, is there anything special about your 7th floor? Because I'm not understanding why you're giving me this. It's on the 7th floor every minute. But, guys, that's where I'm going to be on my birthday. Also, I gave up my dress for my birthday shoot for, um, what is it called? Gave it out to a tailor. I've actually not done that before. I'd rather just buy. I don't like to sew because I don't like to be disappointed. But I gave it out and I'm trusting this girl to do a good job. Also, what is new? I'm going to get my lashes done. I wanted to do it next week, but um, I have a shoot coming up. So I need to get my lashes done. And I'm going to take you guys with me. 
So the story goes on and on and on. I'm gonna see you guys. I need this to dry so I can use my sunscreen. Hold up. Guys, I'm ready to step out. So this is my outfit because outside is hot as hell. My scarf because my hair is a mess. My bag, my crop top, my shorts. Outside is a mess. So this is what we are looking like. See you guys outside. Guys, I am here at um, Beauty Artistry to get, <laughs> to get my lashes done for the first time in my whole life. So let's just hope everything comes out well. All right, I got you. Do you want to come and say hi to my YouTube? <laughs> my last artist is not <laughs> dressed for YouTube, <laughs> so we'll see you guys later. Yeah. What do you guys think about my lashes? It's actually my first time. Is it cute or it's too much? I'm actually thinking it's a bit very deep, like it's much. You no, know, it's my first time, but it's very, very comfortable. Like you don't feel all that stuff you feel under your lashes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> my loves today is saturday and i got my lashes done yesterday you know when i lie down i kind of tear up i don't know how to explain i tear up and here um itches i don't know why but i've actually been using cotton bud to just dab it so i don't like infect my eye or something i don't know um, guys, today's Saturday, like I said, and I have not really been feeling so good. I don't know why to stand up and get things done, but I'm just trying to uh, put this vlog together. I'm supposed to wax and also go to my nail technician to get my nails done. I have work. Like, I've actually been booked for work already, say, next week or after next week. But the thing is, I'm not thinking, do I really have to make my nails? Because I don't want a situation where I'll have to get that, that nail off immediately I'm done with my birthday. <sighs> I feel so exhausted. But I want to wax first before going to see my nail technician so I can just... I'll show you guys my nail in school. If I'm actually gonna make it. So updates on how preparations is going so far. I actually made payment for banana bread, like a big pan of banana bread, because I don't eat cake. I might eat one or two slices once in a while, but I'm not a cake girly. So I had to make do. I've actually had cake only once on my birthday, and my sister was the one that organized everything. I don't think I ate that cake though. I don't think I ate it too. I actually really love banana bread. I told her to make it for me. She was like, do you want me to add icing to it? No. Do you want me to add, um, what's that stuff called? The other thing, frosting. Something like that. She was like, it tastes like ice cream. I don't want anything like that. I just want to eat banana bread on my birthday in peace. And I don't like all that coconut shavings, all that ground nuts. Mm -mm. Just make a very nice banana bread for me. I don't even like chocolate, so she said she was going to use white chocolates. And let's see how that goes. <sighs> guys, I feel so exhausted. But I just needed to come on here and give you guys like a little update on what's going on. How do you guys like my lashes? My skin, glory be to Jesus, started breaking out. I told you guys, well, it's coming together. My nail technician, his number is switched off. 
if I don't get to make my nails today, I might not make it anymore because Monday is when I'm doing something else. Yeah, my free. Oh. Guys, I'm going to update you guys. Let me see if I can wax. I need to get my legs and every other place waxed. Actually washed my whole face today. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear me. Actually washed my whole face today. My lashes and all of that. Now my eye is red. So I wanted to wax and I'm um, with you guys. Maybe show you guys how I wax. But I think I just went back to bed. I just stayed in bed till like um, past four. And I called my nail guy. His number finally went through. And he said I should call. Okay, he said he was working. He would call me to come when he's done. So I just said to stand up and um, get my wax done immediately. So I couldn't feel. In fact, I was rushing because I didn't want to miss him today. Because I'm not sure if he'll be working tomorrow, which is Sunday. And Monday is going to be a very busy day for me. So Tuesday is something else. So, so you guys, um, one thing I want to tell you is. Don't ever say it cannot be me or I could never. Because see that thing where they say life will make it be you till nothing else matters. It's not a lie. So I remember when I was younger, when I just finished high school, I got into uni and I'd see people that would go and make very short nails at the salon. I'd be wondering, why don't you just grow your nails, you know, and just do with it whatever you like why do you go to the salon to spend money and get your nails done when it's still gonna look like your nails fast forward to few years later this is my nails like i don't have a choice like i i have a client who told me oh i'm gonna let you have fun on your birthday week i'm gonna come in for body steaming and whatever after your birthday so like i have work waiting for me like what he's telling me go have fun come back and meet me so this will do but i really really like it you guys this is it very simple very cute i can still do whatever i want to do with this so i, I hope that i can still work with this because i don't want to be uncomfortable at all which i think i can still work with it i can still like handle wax so if I can, that means I'll be making my nails quite often because it elevates the fingers and makes you look good. So yeah, yes, I just need to update you guys. My um, tailor has not said anything to me yet. My friend called me today and was telling me, oh, hope she doesn't disappoint you. Um, do you have like a backup plan? I don't have any backup plan. I have been so inconsistent with my outfits these days. I feel like I'm having a creative block right now. And I think since last month, I've really not been really, really interested in oh, how my... I, I always end up getting it, but I don't feel the vibe like I used to. So if this girl disappoints me, I really do not have any outfits for my birthday shoot. So let's cross our fingers. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And hope she doesn't disappoint me. You guys, I just wanted to hop on here and just um, give you guys update, show you guys my new nails. You know, no matter how short your nail is, it just elevates your fingers. Anyways, tomorrow is Sunday. Yeah, I need to get my hair done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Sleep well. Pum, pum, pum. Is this thing working? Yes, I really want to do that. Pum, pum, pum. Pum, pum, pum. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Is this thing working? <laughs> it is. 
yo guys today is sunday and i feel very much better than yesterday let me see if we can brighten this in a bit yeah so i feel very much better than yesterday this is my nails very short but it's very very comfortable i like it serves the purpose so since um my birthday is coming up on saturday it's a new week already i've decided to be mindful of what i eat because i'm trying to be very snatched can i can i can i be more snatched i'm trying to be very very snatched and since I'm going to be wearing like bikini and all of that, I need to look very, very good. So, we about fruits. Yeah. My potatoes. My porero. We bought fruits, guys. We bought fruits because, yeah, everything is just falling. Ah, this fruit is too soft though. This guy sold me something bad. I should have touched it. It's not good at all. Ah! Nah, this is not edible though. Like, I have to use it just for my smoothie. It's not fair. So, we got fruits. This is banana, which I don't like at all. And dates. I'm just going to blend them and put in my fridge so i can be drinking i'm trying to eat once a day for this week and just be eating be taking fruits and all of that yeah so right now i'm trying to make potatoes and egg for breakfast that's pretty much everything you guys i just said let me check in and say hi and tell you guys i'm feeling way better yesterday night i ate in the night around 12 I think I was feeling so down. I was so hungry. But I didn't have anything. I need to go grocery shopping. I had to buy. I had to come and take oats and eggs. I mean, my egg era. Oh, you guys. My skin. I'm really grateful. Great. I'll talk to you guys later. This is my fruit mix. My smoothie. It has bananas, dates, ginger watermelon pineapples and i'm just gonna add a little um chia seeds on top because i want to so let's go ahead and blend i'm going to add ice to it it's monday morning 24 hours to my photo shoot and this is the message i get from my stylist going back now so the can i talk to the friend hello hello good evening is have you seen a maroon um material there like silk like your fabric yes your fabric is is has it has it been like done or it's just there it's not done <laughs> I can see that you are the client. Um, I don't know. Can I talk to the person that is supposed to run the club? Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Oh, your name is Sam. Good evening, Sam. Um, she gave the material to you to sew. And you told her to come pick it up today. What happened now? I can't hear you. You said what happened? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. What can I say that when she brought that material, hmm. she said they picked up to me at the, the measurement. And then my phone was, so it's not like my, one of my friends now have phone, so he wants to take that phone. Call. So when he took the phone, I didn't, I didn't have the time to check the because she said she said you got money from her this morning so if you knew you did not show the if you knew you did not show the you did not show the, you did not show the material be so the yes so the dress why did you actually collect money from her you're not picking up her calls and i'm here to pick up 
and she did not even tell me she did not even tell me you had no it's not it, it's not about if it's about the money it, it's not a, it's not it's not if if it is about the money or not i am here to pick up that cloth and to be very sincere i mean i'm down to a to meet her under this rain and now we are looking for how to find you you have not shown the cloth and you're telling her you're not in the mood to talk to her really so what happens to what happens to me? What happens to me that wants to use the clothes tomorrow? What did you say? She called me. I was not. Even, I don't even show my phone. I stay. Today is Tuesday. The day for my shoot, and my dress is not ready. Everything started getting bad yesterday. Like everything went off yesterday. I reached out to my tailor. I told her I was coming in the morning yesterday morning, so I could <clears throat> so I could test the outfits and just know that everything is ready she told me to come in the evening oh she had given the clothes to somebody to sew um the guy said she should come pick it up in the evening she told me to come in the evening i had to like go run other errands decided to come in the evening i went to her house in the evening and i realized that the clothes she was sewing my tailor just started sewing them like that was the message I got in the morning. She just started sewing those outfits and she was not done. And all the styles I gave her to sew, I'll show you guys what the style I wanted and what she sewed. None of it with the styles that I tried. I'm like, okay, this can be sorted because I don't need to wear these ones tomorrow. Where is the style to show? The next thing my tailor tells me, not my tailor, the tailor tells me. Oh, it's not here. I'm supposed to go and pick it up. Where are you supposed to go and pick it up? Jack Hondi. Jack Hondi, and you made me leave Lekki all the way down to a jar when the star of the show is a Jack Hondi. Make it make sense. And she goes, oh, the guy called her this afternoon. I, I gave this clothes to her on the 22nd of October. So, oh, the guy called her this afternoon. That's yesterday afternoon. The guy called her and he was saying the measurement is not complete. Blah, 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 blah. The guy wasn't talking to her. So, we're now communicating to, with the guy through his friend. The guy said he's not happy. He really got me pissed yesterday night. I was screaming. I had a bad headache. You know, I'm in this place where I'm supposed to be like my chilled, quiet girl era. But people be testing me, like people be constantly testing me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if, I don't know what is in the air because everybody has been testing me lately. I'm like, girl, you have to find a way to sort this. If you had finished this dress, I would have just wondered, okay, we'll go down to Jack on Day and meet this guy and sort it. The guy had not even caught this clothes. Nigerian tellers would do you dirty, like 100 the guy was not even bothered. The friend was saying, oh, he said he's not talking. He said he cannot do the dress. He cannot. He didn't even cut it. He didn't even do anything. After a long run, back, 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 the guy now said he was going to fix the dress. He will come early. He will go to his shop early in the morning today and get the dress fixed so that I can wear it. I had to shift my hair appointment from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. This is past nine. I'm still at home waiting for my Uber to arrive so I can find them at Jack on Day. Like every other thing is set, just the dress. And now I don't know if this guy can sew because what this girl did for me, you guys, terrible, terrible sewing. You know, when you give somebody silk and silk, everything is in the stitching, everything supposed to be small. This girl gave me the down part. I, I couldn't make videos yesterday night. I was so pissed. The down part of my dress, this girl made it look like, you know that secondary school skirt, the waistline of secondary school skirt, this girl made the down part of my dress that big. I'm like, you're supposed to cut this thing. The, I'll show you guys what I, what I ordered versus what I got because she's telling me there's no way we can change the style and all of that. I still have one material left with her. I told her to bring it. I'm not sewing again. Like, I'm not doing it again. And I don't have any other clothes in mind. You know, I have other people saying, oh, well, you have something in your closet. You always have clothes. I don't have anything I would like to wear for these shoots. It's not like I don't have clothes. I don't have any dress I would like to wear for these shoots. Like, why am I paying so much money to get things done, making my lashes, my nails, everything, just to be wear some basic ass dress for a shoot? Why am I doing that? Anyways, guys, it's about to be a very 
stressful day for me like i know yesterday i was screaming with so much headache when i got into my uber to get home i was holding my head like this i felt like i was so unkind to myself i felt like i had stressed myself so much i felt so bad for myself but i hope that today gets better i hope that that guy actually knows what he's doing he can sew so that i can just forget about yesterday and just get it started i think you guys are along with me let's go okay this is my corset already and i was just trying on some outfits and i came up with an idea is there a way we can make like a one-handed gown to be slitted at this point then this part see the way this gathers is holding this part will gather like this and then we can do something to the hand or something falling like this the back the back will be like this so something like this here will be a, like tight something so i can just put this corset on top what do you think Hey guys, it's currently past three and I just finished from the salon. <laughs> the shoot did not hold today again. I had to reschedule with my makeup artist and the photographer because today just went to shit. Like one person decided to ruin my whole day and they did it perfectly. So I'm actually um, going to hunt for clothes now for the shoot tomorrow. Hopefully I find. My friend is waiting for me so we can find something. But this is my hair. My hair looks very good. I like it, you guys. I'm currently in shit. Like, you know how you're so upset that you just finally said that you cannot let that happen to you and you decide to calm down. That's how I feel. Well, waiting for my Uber so I can go and meet my friend and we can get it going. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys. So normally after having such a stressful day, I would just go to sleep because I think like I am so tired. But I decided that I was going to update you guys on how my day has been and everything because I started this vlog and I am taking it upon myself to finish it regardless of how shitty it gets. So this morning, I went to see the tailor who was handling my dress. And what I saw there was beyond me. Like, what I asked him to sew and what he did. Totally different things. Everything I gave this lady to sew. You know, she outsourced my, uh, my dress. She gave it to some other person to sew. So the rest of the clothes she was handling she did very totally different styles from what i asked her to do like everything was different. not not even one was what i asked her to do and the style of the show was ruined totally like it pissed me off totally at the point i realized i was screaming i had to like get myself together i called her I gave her the price I got the material for, asked her to refund the price for the material and refund the money I paid her for sewing the clothes. Because at the point I told her, see, if I find you, if I leave this shoot I have to do today and find you, it, it won't be funny. So she refunded everything and I had to rush. <coughs> and I had to rush to the salon to get my hair done 
my stylist was working on somebody else i finished my hair by 3 p.m i was supposed to have a makeup um, session by 12. i finished my hair by 3. my makeup artist called she was screaming she was talking plenty i had to reschedule till tomorrow with the hope that okay i was even thinking that i would be able to find an outfit today but I didn't even finish my hair till 3 o'clock. So I decided to go hunting for outfits and reschedule everything. The photographer told me, um, your energy is not right right now. She will reschedule till tomorrow so you can come in and the pictures can look good. I'm like, okay, fine. So we have rescheduled till tomorrow. And this evening, the photographer texts me. The shoot was supposed to be on the island. I stay on the island. I was supposed to have the shoot in a studio on the island. Now the photographer has moved the shoot to the mainland. I just want to take one picture. And you want me to go through all that stress to the mainland. You want me to pay all that money to the mainland to take a picture. One outfit. Is it just me or this is what happens when people try to do shoots i know that if i had found an alternative um outfit i wouldn't have been in this place today like if i had found my friend kept telling me to find something else to wear in case that girl disappoints me and i refused i just thought it was gonna go well i really wanted to wear that outfit I feel very defeated i've actually not been a fan of photo shoots and all of that and the one year i want to do photo shoots everything is going wrong everything is going wrong it's fine guys i don't know if i don't know I don't know if I'll still get to do the photo shoots again. I actually have an outfit now. I don't know if I'll still like do the shoots. If we cannot push it down to the island, I don't know what to do. I might just give up, just forget about it and just chill and just whatever happens on my birthday happens. Like I might just forget about everything. You guys, I just wanted to update you guys on my status, my story. <laughs> it's insane. I'm really going through it. Like, I feel so defeated. Yeah. But I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully, uh, the lines just fall for me in pleasant places tomorrow morning. Hopefully, we're able to push this shoot to the island. If we're not able to push it, hopefully, I can go to the mainland. I don't know anyways my friend got me a gift let me show you guys i was stressed out af and my girlfriend got me a gift i don't know if we're going to do an unboxing or something but i was giving it the which really lightened up my mood until my photographer told me the shoot has been pushed to the mainland but anyways i've told him get a refund because we're going to have to find a studio on the island here something has to happen hey guys good morning i'm at the makeup store or studio this morning i came here very early because i'm trying to get myself sorted also we have not been able to shift the studio from the mainland down to the island. So I have to find my way down there. I don't even want to start arguing with anybody and all of that. I'm just going to try and get it done and we are on our way. My skin is giving, Sha. Yeah.
please guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so we have labelle beating my face up this morning so she's going to tell us the type of glam we're going for better glam better glam i've really not done a better glam before this is going to be my first time so the eyes this is going to be like soft or no. it's not soft yeah it's a better glam so you have to be pumping okay but my lips my lips will be soft yeah i'm a lover of nude lips okay that's nice that's my signature i actually love nude lips too because i don't think bold lips fit me they make me look funny so let's get this thing done. I'll show you guys my makeup when we are done. Please tell them the skin is skinny. The skin is skinny! <laughs> they don't know! <laughs> Friend. They don't know. Uh, uh, they are not ready. <laughs> We're so fine. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you guys, talk to me different, please. If you have my number, you don't have it anymore. I have my assistant here. You will see her very soon. <laughs> You're trying to reach me. Life is here. Call life. I'm not just saying this. If you have my number, delete it. You don't have it. You don't have it again. Don't reach out to me. Rubbish. Hi guys. We're on our way to the mainland, and we're running very late. I mean, it's not my fault. My photographer pushed everything to the mainland, and I'm just finishing now. Well, you guys, my makeup is pretty. It stays in place. It's not breaking. And shout out to my girl, Life. She's the one lying down there. She has been the one following me everywhere. Yesterday, we had to go look for new clothes. She was there. Today, she's following me to the mainland. So, if you need to reach me and you cannot reach me, reach my assistant. You know? In fact, don't call my phone again. Call my assistant. All right? My assistant, do you want to say hi? Yeah, that's my girl. Mm, guys, I can't believe I left the island, drove all the way down to the mainland just to take pictures with just one outfit. That's my girl. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. This place is so huge. Guys, changing room chronicles. Changing room looks really cute. Like, I like how many more things are here. Ah. So we're changing. Mm -hmm. 